On this cadaver, which um, I've just basically outlined, the iliac crest. Here's the midline, obviously, gluteal crease right here. It's easy to palpate, kind of a bulbous enlargement here. You don't really need fluoro, but this is the posterior superior iliac spine right here. The trocar tip is going to sit on the bone, and it's an oscillating motion just like that. If you notice, I'm coming in at an angle about 30 degrees from vertical. A lot of surgeons will erroneously go, you know, posterior to anterior, but that's not how the pelvis goes, so you want to make sure that they don't. And there's a stop on this, so I'm not going to go too far. There's a shoulder stop. You can put the vinyl cap back on for safety reasons, and then you can remove the trocar tip. You can take the release tool off. Again, we're in the open position. It's oscillating motion. And you can feel and hear, can you hear it? That I'm basically going into the cancellous bow. Now I'm going to lock it, and it's kind of like wringing a towel. It's not fingertip, it's grasp and rotate. And then I'm going to rotate it out of the hole. We can see the lower window, we have the bone captured. Now we're gonna take our tan and we're going to deliver the bone. That's the first piece of bone. Now we're going to go back, we're going to the same hole. And I'm going to lock it again. I'm going to open it again, put my tamp in. I'm going to deliver some more bone. I'm going to redirect on a different angle. Capture lock. Rotate out, open, and deliver some more bone. Typically, I will then take, I'll irrigate this a little, I'll take a little uh, gel foam with Marcane, place it in the defect, and close the wound. And um, the typical response of the patient is either zero pain or trivial pain for the first week, week and a half. That's it. So this type of minimally invasive, I mean, there's no soft tissue stripping. So that's one of the reasons why people had pain in the past. And we're not removing the cortical walls medially or laterally. So you don't have any destabilization. Remember in the older procedures, you know, that whole ilium, the attachment of your gluteus medius and your gluteus minimus and your gluteus maximus are all along the ilium. Imagine what it's like when you strip the attachment of your locomotor muscles, I mean important muscles, you're, of course you're going to have a lot of pain. Right. So, and, and it can be chronic. But this, is, this, this boils down to trivial or negligible pain, sometimes no pain. Cylindrical cancellous pieces, there's no cortical bone in that. Wow. It's all pure. And it, if anything, it's slightly compressed, you know, it's because right. of the insertion. And you saw that, you know, the, the process is not complicated. Most surgeons would be very happy to have that. Oh, yeah. To do their fuse. <clears throat> How many cc's do you think you've harvested? I don't know, you know, because it gets compressed a little. But I, I can tell you, each one of these is, is about two and a half cc's. Yeah, so. so. Yeah. That's it.